Uh, first of all, you have Thomas Barber. Thomas Barber was the patriarch of the Barber family. He had like 15 kids uh, with his wife, Mary, who was a relative of the Pendleton family. Um, now, uh, much like we were talking about earlier, Edmund Pendleton, who stepped in as temporary governor when S Governor Smith dies, uh, he gets his distant cousin to uh, become... Uh, James Barber becomes governor. But we're jumping ahead. Thomas Barber was in the Virginia House of Burgesses for several years leading up to the American Revolution. Uh, he has he, he had just a ton of different positions. Uh, notably for my for my position was Sheriff of Onondaga. Uh, Onondaga. I live in Onondaga. Sheriff of Orange County, uh, Virginia. Uh, he was also a neighbor. They were all neighbors of James Madison. And Thomas Barber is an early... Uh, a, a mentor of sorts to James Madison and in fact promotes him for certain positions because James Madison was very young when he starts when the war breaks out uh, Madison is you know joins local committees of correspondences and elected to the House of the Burgesses in his 20s uh, and one of the reasons for this is he has Thomas Barber really giving him the thumbs up and people like that uh, interesting enough Thomas Barber as sheriff was the one who was supposed to deliver the news of who was elected to the Virginia government. And he did this. And it was James Madison, his one of his protégés. Um, he is kind of a role player, so to speak, in the Virginia government throughout the 1780s. But he has these two very important children. Uh, James Barber, uh, who his name has already come up a few times. He is the one on your uh, right, on the left. Let me, I, I can figure out right and left. The one on the left in this picture is James Barber. Uh, he is born one week before the Battle of Bunker Hill, to put some context into it. He grows up with a patriot father, uh, and he joins the Virginia Assembly after studying law. Uh, and then he becomes, as we mentioned, he becomes governor of Virginia uh, after the Richmond Fire. And people seem to like him because he holds the position for uh, most of the 17, I'm sorry, the 18 teens, uh, including most of the War of 1812. So he is a wartime governor of, again, the most powerful state in the Union during the War of 1812. Um, he does see an invasion where uh, Washington, D.C. is burned. Uh, but he is really important at recruiting men and money to fight and eventually win this Second American Revolutionary War, as it's sometimes called. He then goes to the United States Senate. He spends a decade as a United States Senate and, hold, and uh, holds the title of President Pro Temper. And then when John Quincy Adams becomes president, uh, James Barber becomes Secretary of War, based on his experience in the War of 1812 and his French, uh, you know, his importance in America at the time, leading into the second generation of American leaders. Uh, and his final thing in public. He actually goes to uh, Europe and acts as minister to Great Britain for a while. Uh, one of the then, at least, most important diplomatic positions, you know, for the first generation of American leaders. Now, he has a brother. Again, he had uh, I, I believe it was ten sisters and four, five sons for Thomas. Uh, so they had 14 siblings. Uh, but his other brother that becomes very important is Philip Pendleton Barber. And again, we're leaving the revolution a little bit here. Um, but while his older brother, James, that we were talking about, and was serving in the United States Senate, Philip Pendleton uh, comes and he becomes a member of the United States House of Representatives. So one sibling's in the Senate and one sibling's in the House of Representatives. And Philip Pendleton Barber uh, he spends 15 years there. He spends two years as Speaker of the House. Uh, he's actually uh, one of the chairmen of the Judiciary Committee for a few years. Now, eventually, we get to President Andrew Jackson. Again, we're in the age of Jackson. We are leaving the revolution a bit, and I apologize for that, but these are fascinating people, and I learned this this week, so you're coming with me. <laughs> President Andrew Jackson eventually names Philip Pendleton Barber, uh, who is on the right <laughs> here, uh, he is named as a federal judge in Virginia. I believe it was the Eastern District of Virginia. Virginia, uh, of course, had, uh, at this time, I think three districts. Uh, the, the district slowly got broken up over the decades to what we have now. He spends time as a federal judge, does a good job, and eventually is appointed by 
President Jackson as an associate justice of the United States Supreme Court. So as I, you know, just to wrap up, Thomas Barber, the father of these two gentlemen, uh, was a Continental Congressman, uh, 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 and uh, not a Continental Congressman, I'm sorry, in the Virginia House of Delegates, uh, a proponent of James Madison, and raises many children, two of whom, one becomes governor, and one becomes an associate justice of the U.S. Supreme Court. So that's a, a general overview of the Barber family of Virginia.